Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll see about what is pseudo column in Oracle. To start with, pseudo column means it's a false column. That means this information or this particular column is not present as part of the table. However, we can select this column as part of the select statement. That means the column will behave like a column. However, this is not an actual physical column. Okay, let us see a few pseudo columns. To start with, we have a pseudo column called row ID, which can be represented by a keyword called row ID. Row ID gives a physical address of each and every row stored in the Oracle table. You can see the hexadecimal number what retrieved by the row ID. However, this is not part of the table structure, but wherever uh, we want, we can select as part of the select statement. In fact, we can use this row ID in the where condition also. Let us see one more pseudo column called row num, which can be uh, represented by a keyword called row num, which just gives a running sequence for the result executed by the select statement. At the after execution, just before and uh, throwing to the client, Oracle will assign this running sequence to the result set. This can be used in select statement and in, in case in where conditions also. But however, we cannot equate like any other column, but we can just use something like less than or equal to or less than keyword only. Apart from that, we cannot do any other operation over this Ronam keyword. Let us see one more uh, uh, pseudo column called uh, next while curve while. So these two uh, pseudo columns are associated with a sequence. That is, these are sequence related pseudo column. Uh, once a sequence is created, you can uh, get the next value or current value of the sequence using these two pseudo column called next while and curve while. In fact, we need to use these sequences along with the sequence name. That is sequence name dot next while and sequence name dot curve while such that. Since these informations are not stored anywhere, only at the execution time or only at the run time, this information will be fetched from the database and thrown to the user. We'll see one more pseudo column called column underscore value. This particular pseudo column is uh, will be available as part of an XML table construct, also as part of the nested table uh, whenever we are uh, retrieving information from the nested table, something like uh, here. So here the column name will be like uh, column underscore value. We'll see one more pseudo column Okay, the same pseudo column as part of the nested table. So here I have created a type and uh, I have created a, a employee list of that uh, number of table type. Okay, so here from this nested table we can retrieve this information. Here this column underscore value is again a pseudo column. Okay, we'll see one more pseudo column called ORA underscore row SCN. So this particular pseudo column will give the what is the uh, last SCN system change number which updated that particular row. So you can see here. However, this information is not part of the table structure itself, but we can select as part of the table. We'll see one more pseudo column, few more pseudo columns here. So these three pseudo columns like connect by is leaf, connect by is cycle and level. So these three pseudo columns are associated with hierarchical queries. So connect by is leaf will tell whether that particular node is a a leaf node or not. In fact, these three pseudo columns are applicable only for the hierarchical query. We cannot use anywhere in anywhere in the other SQL statement. So the connect by is leaf will tell whether the particular node is a leaf node or not. Same way, connect by is cycle will tell whether there is a cycle uh, loop or a cycle exist in that particular hierarchy. The third uh, level keyword will tell whether uh, in which level that particular node lies in. In fact, uh, uh, there are a few, few more other pseudo columns. However, I've covered like most of the uh, useful pseudo column, like because uh, these are the things we typically use in day-to-day uh, -day development activities. Thank you for watching the video. Please share your comments.